you take this. And Mother gave specific mantra which you chanted, Om Shreem, Reem, Kleem, Dum. You look at the beautiful Bija and she takes you through all the planets and everything to protect against all the natural and super sensual cosmic energy. It was a wonderful home art. She designed it, gave it to us about 20 years ago. We performed it first in uh, Tanju, in the big temple. There's a small sannidhana for Mother Vala. It's in a, in a corner. Most people don't even know. We had to go there and do it and bring that energy to this house of hers. And we get to do that. She asked us, do this once a month for the world. We are doing this for the world, not just for us. Because the world is going to go through some crisis, which is going through now, there will be more, and she wants us to do it every month. And new moon is significant. <clears throat> On that day, the Suric energies are very intense. And they all come. They come to Mother because she's the mother of both Asuras and Devas. And as Panchami, she is known as Panchami because she's the fifth aspect. She's not given a place in Asada Samaha Vidya, but she is in all of them. Bhagala Mugi would be the closest, Shinamasta would be the closest. These are all very powerful uh, deities, and she represents them. She is an aspect of them, and she takes part in all the Samahavityas. And she is a very intense aspect, very mysterious aspect. It's very difficult to understand what she is telling us. If you really listen carefully when you do Prayogam and Mantra, she will give you information which is not normal which is not even acceptable to the world, to the phenomenal world. But later on I realized she's giving us things which are needed for nominal world, the real world, not the phenomenal illusory world controlled by Maya. The real world, that is uh, nominal world. That's where we are heading. Next level would be, hopefully we will go to that world. And we should be, because she's giving us information for that word. Why would she do that? Because she knows some of us, all of us, I hope, will earn the right to know them and be ready when we go to that world, that is next level of evolution, spiritual evolution, where we would not be humans. We'll be higher beings, different forms, there are million forms. They don't have the physical body, and they're not affected by phenomenal world, like a planet. In the phenomenal world, everything, every activity we do, the planets affect us, and we do what the planet has designed. It's not the planet we designed it. We designed it. We, as a spirit form, when we look down and see what we missed, how much more we have to do, and what we did wrong. So we analyze it and we decide this is going to be my story, that is Prarabdha Karma, this life. What we are living, this life is Prarabdha Karma. That's based on the planet which we designed, because to perform that act, that drama, each one of us is different, to perform that drama you have to have those planets in that places. So we place them and we come in that position where we will be controlled by them. That's what she's saying. Dushta graha humfat swaha. What a beautiful way she finishes it. Even the graha should not affect you. Even though you have to go through that, the intensity and our ability to bear it, to sustain it, and to come through that, that is the most important thing. The destiny is decided. The planets is decided at the time of our birth. Nothing we can do. But we can persevere. Did you notice we invoked Pratyankara? Pratyankara Devi is for perseverance. That our bija is sham bija. Sham is a bija, very powerful bija. That bija makes us persevere, whatever the life is, however bad, however good, whatever it is. Important thing, persevering it. The way we perceive it is different. My, she may have the same thing as my life this time, but I may persevere and I may gain or not gain, depending on my ability, more. So that perseverance is uh, Sham Vija. That Pratyankara Devi is very powerful Devi. You know the mythology behind Pratyankara. 
she uh, puts uh, Mahavishnu as an avatar, Narasimha avatar. She makes him realize he is Mahavishnu and he should not affect the world like he was after he uh, consumed the blood of highest evil, Rinyakasipu. So he became affected by that. And then Pratyankara Devi and Suruni Durga came because nobody could control him. Not even Shiva Bhagavan could do it. Everyone tried. Ganesha, Shiva Bhagavan, Kati, everyone. They could not control. He was out of control and makes sense. He has consumed the worst evil and that should affect you. If he is Mahavishnu, it won't. But he's an avatar. He came as an avatar, Narasimha avatar. So he was affected by that. And there they come and help. So when we do Varayam Viva, he invokes her. Normally it's different. Pratyankara is different than Varahi. But he's doing it so that our perseverance, ability to sustain whatever fate is destined with our help. So he invokes her. So usually the vibration, are all vibrational. They don't have a form like you see. It's very symbolic, very meaningful. He's the only one who is given that form where she can burrow deep in our, in our consciousness. That is a job. Deepest level, she'll go in and bring the asuras out. And we have them deep in our heart. All the asurik energy, anger, ignorance, jealousy, all this negative emotion, they are the asuras. And we have it. We can deny it, but we have it. We have to acknowledge it and uh, confront them and overcome them. That's the beauty of our ours only religion, which acknowledges the asuric energy, because they are also there with us. The asura, they are given that function and they do the function. Without them, they won't be there us. So our religion is very, very fundamental, goes to the depth of that understanding. And all these are symbolic. So as a boar, she can burrow deep. So she's represented that way. <clears throat> uh, mythologically, Varaha Murti went down to ocean to bring the knowledge, Vedas. And she is the Shakti of Varaha Murti. Wonderful, wonderful lady. And Mother kindly gave us the mantra to do it and told us, do it once a month for the world. You protect the world. And uh, it's a very, very uh, meaningful mantra. You analyze that each bija we, we chanted, Om Shreem, Shreem, Kleem, Dum, Jawala, Jawala. Jawala, Jawala is a race. The vibrational energy, electromagnetic race, everything is vibration. The vibration reaches you through that Jawala, Jawala, Sulini. Sulini Durga is a very powerful aspect of Durga. In fact, we will be doing a Homa for Patyankara Devi and Sulini Durga soon. But they're, they're all very powerful, primordial energies. Only they can stand demons, asuras. Asuras are very intense. That's why devas always lose. You know that asuras always win. Because they're very intense. They have to go to mother or divine mother. She will come at the end and save them. Nobody could do that because the uh, demonic energies are very intense. So they look at it. <clears throat> love and hate. However loving you could be, you cannot develop the hatred to that degree. Hatred could be very destroying. <clears throat> so it's like that. Everything is in polarity. So it's a wonderful day and we are very blessed to be here and to be able to perform the Homa on the day as advised by her on the new moon day. And we take them, see the symbolism of what we did at the end? We took the, all the energy, the Asuric energy. They all come to her. She's the mother of them. So we tell them, you leave us. You came and you took mother's day. You leave us, not affect us. That's the symbolism of that. That's the reason why we say don't fold your hand. Because we don't want to attract you to them. We don't want to attract them. So we just don't fold it. All are symbolic, but meaningful. Thank you. <laughs> Bhaglamachi is a very powerful deity, one of uh, Dasa Mahavidya. She takes part. So, so she has a part of all the Dasa Mahavidyas. She's Panchami, but she has a uh, very, very intense, very mysterious. Her uh, teaching, her thought process, what she teaches is very mysterious.
you really have to understand what she means by what she advises you. 